<laughs> I eat that oatmeal every morning. Very concerning. A lot of people do. Right? Central Florida students are back in school, but sadly, thousands of them do not have a home to go to at the end of the day. Some local counties say they're seeing a spike in the number of homeless students. A lot of it because there simply isn't enough affordable housing. But as News 6 reporter James Barbero found out, there are local groups working to help get families back on their feet. We are at my lovely home. Which not long ago was only a dream for Jessica Tuba and her four-year-old son, the 33-year-old single mother making a home in Palm Bay, avoiding being homeless with help from Eckerd Connects. You might remember them for the pharmacy chain. Now the nonprofit offers social services for local families. Just loved me from the beginning, didn't judge me from my past. I was homeless, living on the street. I was addicted to drugs. Jessica's life a lot brighter now. She's a registered medical assistant and her son is in his first week of VPK. Without Eckerd Connects, he'd be among the two or 3,000 students Brevard Schools considers homeless. This trauma that these kids are going through. The school district's expert on the issue, Dr. Sally Shin, says student homelessness varies from sleeping on the streets to couch surfing. The greatest contributor is less affordable housing. So this is a consequence of growth and development. What you might think of as nice for the economy actually has some negative effects on families. Right. The economy and in our county, we are attracting higher income level employment, but people who have been here, the, the housing costs keep going up and up and up. The challenge, keeping salaries at pace with housing costs. School board member Andy Ziegler. Ten years ago in 08, we had 40% free and reduced lunch, and now we're close to 60%. So we just love to, to help families that need help. Jennifer Reeves is a homeless liaison with Eckerd Connects. Buses pick students up no matter where they're staying. Families also get help with school supplies, clothes, and tutoring. The more stability that children have, they're able to go further. Because of higher housing prices, the district expects the number of homeless students to remain about the same this school year. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, News 6. Now there is still time to help students in need. News 6 is partnering with a gift for teaching for a back-to-school phone bank. All day tomorrow, volunteers will be answering calls to accept donations. Every dollar donated helps provide free school supplies to teachers. If you'd like to help, we've posted all the information you need on clickorlando.com. That is a huge resource mm -hmm. for kids here in Central Florida. They do so much good work, and as we said, just a dollar can turn into $10 worth of supplies. Yeah, and teachers buy so many supplies out of their, out of their own, own pockets. paychecks. Yeah. You know, my sister's a teacher, and it's tough. They don't make yeah. a, well, they don't make a enough money but I mean it's it's incredible if you can help tomorrow is your chance so 